Well, this month's Disney's The Lion King makes its triumphant return to the Overture Center in Madison. Sarah Master Donar sat down with one of the performers to find out more about the incredible costume work and what's kept this long-running show so popular around the world. I'm joined by performer Lyric Denae, who is making her debut in the Pride Lands. Lyric, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me this morning. So, Lyric, you're also making your professional debut in Madison and at the Overture Center. It's huge for you because you were born and raised here for most of your childhood. So how does it feel to be back? It feels so good. I just, you know, I left home at 14 to pursue my career and my parents supported me. And to be able to come back with such a beautiful and captivating show, that's timeless for one, but also so iconically recognized for how long it's been on the road and on Broadway. I'm super excited to be back in Madison and it's it's a nostalgic feeling. I definitely feel like a kid again, even though I'm not at all a kid. <laughs> well, do you feel like when people go and see this show, they're familiar maybe of course with the Disney cartoon, but do you think there is a sense of nostalgia for people going to see this musical? Absolutely. If you've seen the movie, it's literally the movie on stage. It's a live performance with live music. And aside from us just performing, we're using puppetry to tell this story. And I think it's just the nostalgic idea of no matter what age you are, you're always going to go through those trials and tribulations of life, but you're always going to have your family and your friends with you. And that's basically the story of Lion King. Mm -hmm. And everyone experiences that no matter how old they are. I love that message, but you mentioned the puppetry in this show, Lyric, and I wanted to ask about that because I love it. The costumes are my favorite part. I love kind of being able to see the performers as the human and the animal at the same time. And so I'd love to hear from you, what's it like to wear these costumes night after night? I mean, are they heavy? Are they tough to deal with? So I just want to highlight, first off, our wardrobe department and the costume design for the show, like you said, Sarah, is incredible. But personally, as performers, we all get our own individual costumes, which is huge as a performer. We are not sharing any costumes. These costumes are tailored for us and specifically made for us. And the puppetry within itself, it's not heavy but you're not yourself while you're in it. You're taking on a whole different character, which is something you definitely have to study. So for my preparation in the show, I definitely watched a lot of lions, mm -hmm. how they moved. I watched hyenas, how they hunt, just their stature and their shoulders. Definitely the drafts, which is an interesting one. Studying all those things was super important to me, but they're not heavy, but they're definitely a new element that you have to take the time to learn and respect. It's been performed since the late 90s, I mean, for decades now. What do you think keeps audiences coming back to the show? You know, aside from the music and aside from the puppetry and the costumes, it's that story. It's the idea that no matter how old you are, you're always going to go through hard times and you're always going to have those learning moments that aren't always so positive. But you have to have those in life in order to grow and become a better person and to figure out who you are as a person. So I think that's what's most captivating for people and that's what keeps bringing them back. Well, Eric, thank you so much for being with us. Welcome back to Madison and break thank a you. leg in the show. Thank you so much. <laughs> the Lion King is playing at the Overture Center through May 28th. We'll put a link with ticket information on WKOW.com.